the Hello, planet. Hello beautiful people, this is Biahi at iba pa ni Omar Jones Tado. We're going to ride a cable car. Join us to explore this moving national historic landmark in the United States. Let's check out the Cable Car Museum, find out some interesting facts, the fairs, and more after this. We're back beautiful people. Today we're here at San Francisco. As we have said earlier, we're going to ride a cable car. Before anything else, the San Francisco cable cars has two stations or line. The famous one is the Powell Street line. Maybe because there are so many tourists and locals are taking their ride at the Powell Street line. And the other one is California Street line. The end of the line of Powell Street line is Hyde and Beach Streets at the west end of Fisherman's Wharf. This line has always a long line and needed to wait a few minutes to ride the cable car. The Powell Mason line swings onto Taylor Street to their final destination at the Bay and Taylor Turn Cable. On the other hand, from the California Street line continues or the end of the line is Van Ness Avenue. If you notice, the Powell cars feature the older design and have only a single grip level kaya kailangan i-turn around at the end of the line ng mga grip man ang cable cars. Samantala sa California street cars use the later double end design from 1891 with two grips at walang turntable. Here is the thing beautiful people, National Historic Streetcar Landmark are one of the only moving National Historic Streetcars landmark in operation in the United States and a fun park of California's history. Mm -hmm. Visiting San Francisco is not complete without a ride of one of them. We are sure thing experiencing cable cars going downhill and uphill. Going downhill, the grip is not holding. Sometimes you will notice the conductor pulling on lever in the street, meaning it lifts the car upward so the grip can grasp it. Cable cars have no engines. Each car has its own set of winding wheels that is controlled from the cable car powerhouse in Cable Car Museum. The cable car powerhouse in 1981 was replaced with identical appearing equipment by 1984. In other words, the powerful electric motors drive giant winding wheels that pull cables through a trench beneath the street and centered under the cable car truck. Let's find out some interesting facts that this streetcar landmark famous. January 17 is cable car day and turning for nearly 150 years. Andrew Smith Holiday, a mining engineer who invented the cable cars, he got his inspiration for the vehicles after seeing a team of horses meet a gruesome fate when they slip on a wet trait while dragging a heavy load uphill in 1869, killing all the horses, they said. On September 1, 1870, the San Francisco Cable Car Line Service Clay Street started. The first cable car powerhouses were steam engines and replaced with the electric ones. And more than 600 cable cars in operation before the 1906 earthquake. So in 1912, is less than 100 cable cars in operation. Today, there are 40 cable cars in operation. The 28 cable cars are for the Power Street Lines, while the 12 cars are for the California Street Line. Cable cars are made up of oak, canvas, Alaskan spruce, brass, and steel. It weighs 15,000 pounds. At ang 
is ng Takbo ay 9.5 miles per hour. Today, the fare is $8. There is so much fun riding a car. The ride is $8 one way. You can buy a day or multi-day pass to save on ride costs. Take note, get a pass or ticket in advance to avoid hassle. Or if you have a use clipper in a cell phone wallet, you can also use it. Since everyone wants to ride on the outside, try to come early so you have a better chance and ride right away. No need to wait that long or waiting time cannot be long. So beautiful people join us and take a ride with us for this National Historic Landmark here in San Francisco. We're pretty sure you're gonna like it and have fun as well. You know, beautiful people, I visited the San Francisco Cable Car Museum three times. Unfortunately, I was not able to enter the museum because the first reason is not open daily due to, you know, still a pandemic. And the second one is there is a technical problem, one of the engineers said. And the third one is fortunately, I already entered and had some videos and pictures. Oh, that's the building of San Francisco Cable Car Museum. Let's go inside. Hi, beautiful people. We are inside the Cable Car Museum. Let's find out and what can we see in the Cable Car Museum. If you want to visit the Cable Car Museum, it's free to visit. You will get a chance to watch them in action and they pull the cars up the steep streets. You will see and discover also their history, the old materials in photos and in person. The 
old cable car display and cable car barn and power house. The museum has a shopping store to buy some souvenir items. In other words, the museum contains historical and explanatory exhibits about San Francisco cable cars and located at 1201 Mason Street. So beautiful people, bye for now. Let's join and explore this museum with us. Of course, pandemic time, there is no operation. Within 16 months, that iconic car were out of operation, but operated in August and free to ride until September 2021 and were on limited service during that time. Cable cars are decorated with Christmas decor during holiday seasons and any important holidays as well. The cable car is rung at Fort Lace. Sometimes it is in the third place over Fisherman's Wharf. However, when we collected all the research from the different travel agency, we found out that Fisherman's Wharf were most voted for the third place. So that's how we got that ranking. We said so because it really varies from time to time for the top 10 rated tourist attractions here in San Francisco, California. As of now, we only have the two most famous tourist destinations, San Francisco Golden Gate bridge and the Alcatraz Island. Well, let's find out soon which one of them is the first place. I do hope you enjoyed the fourth rank of the San Francisco top rated tourist attractions. Thank you for watching. God bless us all. See you in my next vlog. Beautiful people. Bye for now.